Hello, today I'd like to show you yet another way to use some of those five inch squares. Now I have got today, I really want to call them delicious, but I can't call everything delicious. So these are scrumptious and you can see why my five inch squares are just so scrumptious because they're so tasty looking. We've got all these wonderful food fabrics that I came across. So um, I'm just going to show you just really something very simple. I'm going to make a four patch using some five inch squares just with quarter inch seams so we've got pre-cut five inch squares and I'm just going to quickly make a four patch unit here so I'm going to join two pairs and then join the two pairs together into a four patch and this is a great idea for using fabrics um, particularly the five inch squares that may be themed you might be collecting particular like food fabrics for example or something along that line and then you're not sure what to do with them. So this way you can showcase them quite nicely. So there I've done my two lots of two. I'm just going to quickly press those. I like to press as I go because I find I get a much better result. Press, and I want the seams to go in opposite directions. So I just keep an eye on where your fabrics are going to go because I want my two reds opposite there. So I'll quickly now sew those two pairs together and then we'll have a four patch. It's that simple. And then I'm just going to quickly add a little bit of sashing so that you can see what it might look like made up. There are so many nice fabrics out there these days. You might perhaps collect cat fabrics or dog fabrics or horse fabrics or did I say food fabrics? Maybe food fabrics. Um, but it's a shame to not use them so that you can see them because sometimes we cut them up into small pieces and you lose some of the effect. So there's my four patch. Now you can't get much simpler than that but I'm just going to quickly add some sashing strips. Now I have shown you before how to do this method of um, adding sashing sashing strips as you go rather than in great long strips in um, my quilting tips and techniques video number 054 but I'll just quickly pop this on here because I think it just adds a little something to this four patch to see it with its sashing so I'm just going to I've cut my sashings these are only one and a half inch cut strips and some little squares I'm going to use this absolutely zesty sort of yellow and I'm just going to add some of these bits just quickly so that you get a bit of an idea of how it can just set off um, fabrics that perhaps, as I said, are themed or they may be just a colour or something that something that holds them together, not just a whole jumble. Basically. So there I put a sashing strip on one side. And I have made this quilt and I'll show it to you shortly with um, some very nice Japanese fabrics. I have a liking for Japanese fabrics amongst everything else that I like. Now I've got my sashing strip ready with my little corner post on it and I'm just going to pop that down the bottom here. And I've pressed my seam so that they're opposite so that they're going to just snuggle in together there nicely. Five inch squares are so useful. I know others have quite a collection of them too. And then we get them and then we're not sure if we want to use them. Oh no. Let's use them. So again, pressing as I go all the time. It's just a little bit tedious to have to keep pressing but I know you get a much better result. Okay, so I've done that bit. Now I'm going to add another piece that I've already prepared to the top there. So if you're going to make a quilt like this that's perhaps themed, you may want to think about the layout because whilst random is really good, and it's something like um, a themed fabric like here I've got two very similar looking fabrics so I probably wouldn't want them absolutely next to each other I'd want to keep an eye on 
where I was going to put them in a quilt in relation to each other. And there's just one more strip to go on there and that's going to complete this this block but you would normally not do a whole block at a time if, for this method of sashing. This is only so that I can show you um, what it's going to look like with the sashing. You'd normally wait and do these last bits at the end down the sides. So this piece I'm putting on now is usually the very last piece that goes on when you're putting a quilt top together with the sashing post at each end. And if you look in that tips and techniques video 054, you'll see what I mean about that. Because whilst I've used different sizings, the method is the same. Right, so there we've got a block which in itself is particularly enticing. But I have already made um, a couple of other blocks here so that I could just show you a little bit more about what it would look like all pieced together. So you can see I, I don't have the sashing all the way round on the other blocks. I've already joined these two together. Just made a little four patch of four patches. And this one will go up here which has got that extra last side on it. So, um, so that was really just a quick idea with some five inch squares. As I said, particularly scrumptious five inch squares today. Um, and just simply sashed which just kind of sets off some of the fabrics. It allows you to put some of the busy fabrics together by just breaking them apart with even just a narrow strip of sashing, something like that. Um, and I'll show you now a quilt that I have made. And I have actually done this as a pattern. Maybe I'll quickly show you that. I've called it four patch using five inch squares. This is available to purchase and download on my website, uh, gourmetquilter.com. Um, and I can show you the quilt that I've made from that pattern using these these um, lovely Japanese fabrics. They've all got a little hint of gold on them. They're nice, rich looking fabrics. And again, I've kind of collected them up and I wasn't sure what to do with them. Um, and then when I put them all together, somehow it just seemed to work. And that's made with that, that sashing and the little posts and things. And I just think that that's a great way to use some fabrics that you really don't want to cut up and that work well together as a collection. So that's four patches with five inch squares.